I think it gets a bit confusing sometimes because people often use a chisel with the bevel up when it could be better with the bevel down and there are different applications for the chisel and it depends on the kind of work you're doing. Let me show you first of all on this dado here where we might use the chisel with the bevel up. So we go into the wood here, bevel up. So we're taking off the bulk of the waste like this and we work across going with the long grain into the wood. Now if we're taking that wood out we might come from the opposite way and not change our body stance. In that case we would go bevel down like this and that's a, another application. So it depends on which, whether you're left-handed or right-handed and a variety of things like that. Let's say now we want to take out the waste wood in between. Take your chisel and go with the bevel up. Pop it with the heel of your hand and then use a jabbing motion like this to take out the bulk of the waste. But then you come to this part on the chisel and it won't go any further. So often in schools especially they've been taught to go with the bevel down. And people think that that's the way to do it all the time and it's not necessarily, it's only when the board is so wide the, the uh, stem of the chisel, the handle hits the piece of wood or the vise and you can't go any further. So that's one application for it. Turn your board round of course and you can come from both directions but even then if the board is 18 inches wide it won't work for you. What about if you're chopping mortises? This is something I just put together so I could show you. So let's pretend this board is wider and this is one wall of the mortise hole and the next wall is somewhere over here. So we want to chop out this waste wood. Well we can go this way but eventually when we go more perpendicular you get a lot more resistance. But watch what happens when we turn the chisel around the chisel bevel now is working as a splitter because if you turn this way the bevel of the chisel is driving the chisel into the body of wood with the bevel down it's not doing that go all the way across your mortise it works perfectly for mortising now then here's another question what do you use when your bevel, let's give me one second to cut something here. I need a handsaw. I'm just going to cut an angle on here like this. Okay, so I've got my angle cut and I want to clean up this angle. I can use a plane but I may not have a plane so I just bring this up. I'm going to use my chisel bevel up and I'm going to push it just to start it in the wood and then I can register the flat face of the chisel against the surface of the wood and I've got a nice smooth surface pristine. What if I wanted a bevel on this surface here? I go in here and I do exactly the same. I've got a nice bevel in there. Okay now then here's another question what would I do if this was a scallop? Okay, I want to create a scallop. I go in with my chisel like this and I create a scallop. Very simple. Bevel down for the scallop, flat face for the straight. If I want to bevel on the scallop, I just go in with the chisel, bevel down again. Perfect. These are perfect applications and we use all the different types of different applications very simple, but these are just a couple of options for you to think about and work with and practice with. And you can add many more to it because the chisel is so complicated and yet so simple. Mm -hmm.